And joining us right now, the general manager of Ottawa South United, no stranger to these parts, no stranger to Canada at the grassroots youth level, Jim Leanos. Jim, welcome here to the Hall of Fame Golf Tournament. It's great to see you guys out here supporting this tournament. Why come out? I think it's important. We were invited by the Ontario Soccer Association, and it's important to come and support it because for a good cause, right? So we're all about developing soccer, and this is also part of the history of soccer. So it was very important for us to come down and, and meet other people and support the project. Your president talked about having a professional atmosphere at your club, hiring coaches, paying people. I think that is the way things need to go in Canada. You guys have taken that step. How important is it for the rest of Canada, big clubs like yourself, 7,000 plus, that start to adapt that mentality of a professional atmosphere for the youth to get to that level that they need to be at? Um, I think it's very important. I think it's important to have structure and important to have protocols. It's important to have policies. Uh, you know, we're dealing with people, we're dealing with kids, and we're dealing with kids that are looking for development. Not everybody's going to play for the national team, but there are, you know, we have a responsibility to all the kids from seven to the oldest person in the club is 78 years old. We have to provide a service to them, and we have to provide a professional service to them. And that means anything from your developmental, your recreational, your competitive, your adult, your elite, your OPDL, your OYSL. It's a big club, there's a lot of components to it, and everyone has to be managed in a professional manner. Jim, we'll close it out with this. I mentioned it to Bill. It must have been uh, outstanding to have the Women's World Cup there, uh, seeing different nations play in your city of Ottawa. The memories that you will take away, I'm sure, will last a lifetime. But talk about some of the young girls in your club that learned and took away a lot from that World Cup. I think they learned a lot. I also think, you know, finally they had to see people up close, what it was actually like. They met. We were very lucky that... Uh, we actually had an open invitation for the Norwegian national team, and the kids went there, met with them, trained with them, played with them. I mean, those kind of memories of kids will take them forever, right? And not like I said, not everybody's going to make the national team, but I pretty well guarantee that everybody that participated is going to remember that day. We'll close it out with this. One thing you can tell the viewers out there that you want in Canada, in Ontario, that everyone can sing off the same hymn sheet for the betterment of the game in Canada, what would it be? Uh, there's so many things, but if I have to pick one, I think is what you mentioned earlier. I think, you know, some clubs have a responsibility, especially the biggest club, to professionalize their programming and provide the opportunities for those top players as well as the rest of them. Jim, thanks so much for coming here. We really appreciate it. Safe travels back home. And again, thanks so much for coming out to this beautiful facility here in Ajax, Ontario. Oh, it was our pleasure. Thanks for having us.